charming, cool, athletic, a good cook. More importantly, he's a clean freak. Amayota is idolized and respected by everyone, but they can only admire him from afar due to his misophobia. Despite that, he plays soccer, a rather dirty sport. As a playmaker for Fuji High School Soccer Club, Ayoto avoids physical contact at all costs and cleanly dribbles towards victory. However, the path to natural will not be easy for the Fuji's underdog team, but alongside striker Koa Zene Ayome will show everyone that as a clean freak, there are things he's willing to get dirty for. This anime has about 12 episodes premiered July 3rd, December 18th, 2017. It is based on a popular manga series. It is comedy, sports, theme, or gag humor, school, teen sports. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode, rated right PG 13. Let's get started into the review. What I really like about Clean Freak Amayoma kun is that it really focuses on the main character and how much of a highly germaphobe he is, but he is willing to play the most dirtiest contact sport in history by playing soccer. And what I really like about it is that even though he suffers from like a very clean, com like com like phobia, like he has to clean, like that uh, calms it down. Like, just like anything there, he hates being touched. He thinks that he see he has a need to see everything clean, which is really you know not bad. But I think it focuses on you know people who have that OCD like you know tendency or you know thing that that you know they just can't help. And I think it's. It does a really good job of touching on those bases. Um, every time you clean, everything is spotless. And in the beginning, when you see, you know, this anime, there are some episodes that basically soccer is not the importance here. But it does bring back full focus with pacing along with the football team and the person who's like tied everything together. But these characters, especially the main character, is just interesting because I feel like for... You know, the clean freak that he is and his friends, I feel like they hold this responsibility of carrying the comedy. But I think without them, the main protagonist just seem a lot of lackluster. And thanks to their side characters, you know, characters and the admirers and the fangirls and they also the cleaning fairy girl, you know who I'm talking about when you watch the anime. But overall, between everything that this anime gives, um, it's, it's interesting because the, between the art, the music, you know, everything's pretty standard and nothing wrong with that. I think, you know, with this being a Sanin, especially a sports anime, it did a different twist on it. Because I feel like, you know, if you can relate to what we've been through the past year, I think we've all, truth be told, become a little bit of a creep, but not to this extent. But I think we can kind of be a little bit more relatable to this character because of how he views things and he is willing to get dirty for a sport that he loves very much so, but I think is very important for the protagonist to grow as a character and you slowly change at that tendency, but still show that sustainability that he will still not really like let the cleaners overtake him in his life, but he does try his best to be there for his teammates and these teammates for him. I think you guys see that growth overall, like how people will perceive a person because of certain like OCD, OCD tendency, but really like getting to understand that, that person is just a little bit better just beside what they see on the outside versus on the inside. But I think this anime does a really good job of exploring the, that narrative between the two. And overall, I really give this anime like a 7.9 out of 10. I don't know where the manga cuts off from the anime, but definitely watch the anime and read the manga as well if you have a chance to see the similar differences that they add to the anime or that you see a leap by variation of the manga because you know like I say a book is more detailed than the actual show but definitely check out Clean Free Amana Kun I thoroughly enjoy it and you see him really trying his best and my final thoughts on this anime that it was a different approach to a sports anime that I have not seen before but it definitely delves into you know different things that normally I wouldn't expect an anime to portray very well. But definitely check out uh, Clean Freak Adamaku and comment down below in the comment section what anime you want to review next. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more contents in the future. And I just upload three times a day on Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 12 p.m. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time for another anime review. Bye!